demonstrating the new technology which is called 5G. Uh, it's the next generation from 4.5G to 4G. Uh, what it does is it gives you a three to four key aspects of it. One of them is what we call the uh, enhanced mobile roadmap that gives you an experience uh, on 20 gigabits uh, per second throughput and above, depending on the frequency spectrum and, uh, and the bandwidth that you have. And the second aspect of it, which you will be able to see from the demos, is latency. So the demos will be able to uh, articulate or show you how does the latency translates that into what we believe the industrial applications. How do you actually do uh, autonomous uh, connectivity towards the car? How do you actually operate uh, remote machinery? How do you actually do remote surgery, for example, if you're tying back to uh, mobile health and all, all those uh, things related to that. So then that's the second part, which is latency. Then the third part, what we talked about, is the reliability. So one of the aspects that uh, the 5G will bring is the reliability to the system itself. And how do we do that is basically as we have uh, demonstrating the antenna elements have multiple stream towards a particular dedicated user. So instead of having one individual stream, what you have today, uh, in 5G system, you are looking at multiple six to eight streams directing towards a user. What it will give you is actually, it will give you enhanced user experience, more reliability, because you will not have a, a delay, jitter, latency, those related uh, that you have seen in technology today. And of course, the third thing, which I would say one of the key critical part is how do we actually 5G bring the Internet of Things into the context? Uh, from where, how do we see how you connect all the individual, uh, either machines or in fact uh, devices uh, into the network itself? So one of the examples we are demonstrating there is the smart parking. Basically, what we are saying that the technology will enable you to go deep inside a low coverage area, for example, in the basement, where you'll be able to operate those devices in much efficient way and how and meet the requirements of the network. So those are the key uh, properties which is making the differentiation to show that 5G is not an evolution of 4G. It's a revolution and it's a uh, totally different technology. And if you look at the type of applications, it again can be uh, categorized into two or three. EMB, what you call the NAS mobile broadband, where you are talking of 1 gigabit type of flow. And then the other one is the MTC. MTC stands for Massive Machine Type Communication. So you are talking of around 100,000 devices per cell. is the scalability element. Scalability in terms of all the devices that are connected. So I mentioned that a lot of the devices that are connected today, we see are humans, but in the future, we're gonna see more and more sensors and more and more data creation coming from these sensors to the point that we actually expect 90% of the data being created to come from these types of machine-to-machine -machine communications. That's where data analytics come in, that's on the back end. Uh, this is coming through 26 billion or perhaps even more connected devices. This could be everything from connected toothbrushes to set-top boxes in your house. Uh, in this case, there's actually a company in North America that puts a little tracking device inside the waste dumpsters. And the reason for doing this is it's quite expensive for them to drive around the city and try to empty these dumpsters and find out that they're actually not full. So with this little sensor, they're able to make sure that it's worthwhile to go to that location and empty the trash. As a result, they can save 40%. That's just one example of waste joint. 